We are now just 153 days away from the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker by director J.J. Abrams, Chris Terrio, and creator George Lucas. That is all set and ready to really involve a lot of saga-wide implications to the Skywalker saga that's really going to change and reshape the entire saga that we have known since 1977. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. So what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie is going to include a lot of new aspects of the franchise that we have never seen before in the Star Wars franchise. We also know that J.J. Abrams is introducing tons of new material, you know, bringing back land battles, space battles, and lightsaber duels to a absolute different level than we have ever seen before in the Star Wars franchise's history. And that to me speaks volumes. It really tells us that J.J. is very ambitious with this movie and is trying his very best in order to really impress the fans around the world. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for episode 9. Now specifically what's really intriguing about all of this is that shot descriptions consisting of both Rey and Kylo Ren engaging in a lightsaber duel on the First Order battlefield, where it's described that the First Order headquarters is collapsing partially in the background. It's said to be a powerful lightsaber duel where eventually they lock their blades together, where the environment around them begins to shift and morph into the world of Mustafar, where it's explained that they are now fighting alongside blurred footage of Anakin versus Obi-Wan from Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith over the Lava Lake, where Rey and Kylo are fighting on the ground as Anakin and Obi-Wan fight over the Lava Lake. It's said that during their duel, Kylo pauses as he sees the figure of Anakin burning in the background, where the screams of Anakin are said to be heard in the distance, where the ground begins to collapse as Rey and Kylo Ren run for their lives, where they eventually are into a different and new environment, realizing that these environments seem to be simulations of the past as opposed to them actually being there. It's described that they are now fighting in a Sith cave that resides below Vader's fortress that holds a series of catacombs leading to its exit. So let's go over a couple of parts about this because we do know that episode 9 is going to introduce a thing called Flash fights. Now, I don't know if you guys are just, you know, hearing about this right now, but flash fights are said to be a mixture of flash forwards, flashbacks, the force bond, and of course, just a regular lightsaber duel in the mix. So combining all four elements of what J.J. Abrams is introducing here in the sequel trilogy is going to really reshape how we look at lightsaber duels and how they're going to be used in episode 9. Now let's discuss this particular moment where both Rey and Kylo Ren are fighting on the ground as alongside the lava lake where Anakin and Obi-Wan are said to be fighting each other in the background. Now the footage is said to be blurred and taken from Revenge of the Sith in order to make it dreamlike, in order to give it that flash back flash forward type of look as both Rey and Kylo are fighting each other to the death on the world of Mustafar. Now this ultimately leads to a point in which we actually do have a moment in which Kylo Ren gets interrupted by seeing the figure of Anakin Skywalker burning in the background, hearing his screams in the distance, where eventually it all leads to a moment in which Mustafar itself begins to crumble as if an earthquake just occurred, where both Rey and Kylo Ren are running for their lives, and as they run for their lives, they are immediately pretty much collapsed down into the ground into a new environment where they are now fighting within the Sith cave that belongs, of course, to Darth Vader underneath his fortress. So what I like about this is it really reminds me of what we already saw in The Force Awakens. You guys may recall that in The Force Awakens, Rey is running through the corridors of Cloud City. And out of nowhere, we hear a scream, which we're not quite sure exactly who that really was. But as the scream occurs, we do see the whole entire environment crumbling into Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple planet. So you can really see how J.J. is using that form as inspiration in order to really make the flash fights pretty much what we already saw in Episode 7 on a magnified, you know, amount here. So the one thing that I do want to go over is, of course, the moment in which we do have the burned version of Anakin being seen through the eyes of Kylo Ren in the distance. Now, without a doubt, you know, we do know that Kylo is very inspired by his own grandfather, and he's really obsessed with the concept of Darth Vader. And that's exactly why it interrupts Kylo. You know, he sees his own family member being burned alive by a Jedi, no less, being, of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
Now this is said to be old footage from Revenge of the Sith, alternate pieces of footage that were taken from deleted scenes that are said to be used for the final cut of Episode 9 during their flash fights. And what I like about the flash fights, since, you know, I do know that the, there are a lot of mixed reactions out there, you know, there are people expressing their concerns, but my point of view, the thing that I like about the flash fights is that, well, it really does create a lot of nostalgia packed into, let's say for example, a 10 minute lightsaber duel or whatever it's really gonna be, right? I think that there's a lot of potential going into this movie and the fact that J.J. Abrams really is aiming high as much as possible to make this movie and mark it down as the best of the sequel trilogy, to me it really speaks volumes that J.J. cares about ending it very well. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.